Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw this wet face portrait. This drawing has become one of my favorite drawing of all time because the skin texture and water texture in this drawing was something new for me. So I did this one as a student and it really taught me so much. Now I can't wait to share all the tips and tricks I learned from this drawing with you guys. So grab your tools and let's get started. So these are the art supplies I'm going to use for this drawing and you can pause the video right here to note them down. The paper I'm using is an ordinary hard white chart paper and the drawing portion area is 12 cross 14 inches. I have uploaded all the references including this outline drawing reference on my Patreon profile and you can find the links in the description down below. I use grid method to get all these outlines for my drawings. So before you start the drawing, make sure you mask the edges of the drawing area using a masking tape. It will help you get a straight and sharp border for your drawing. So starting off from the forehead and first of all, as always, I'm going to fill it with a base layer using a B pencil and then I will blend it using a dry brush. You can also use a tissue paper in the end to get extra smooth results. But make sure you darken the outline for the highlights or else they will fade away in the blending process. Now I'm going to use this 3B pencil and add the second dark layer in these shadowed portions and then blend this layer later on using a dry brush and tissue paper. Now using the same 3B pencil, I'm going to add these sharp lines for the baby hair in this left portion of the forehead. Keep them light, don't fill all this area with dark black hairs. And for this skin texture, I'm going to use the same 3B pencil and fill the area with this mixture of random light and dark dots, just like this. And by the way, the real-time trail of this drawing is available on my Patreon profile. So if you want to see all these details up close and in real time, you can visit my Patreon profile. Link is in the description. Now use a sharp tip blending stump and individually blend each and every dot you just added. It will take some time but it will definitely make your skin texture look amazing. Now make a sharp tip with your kneaded eraser and dab it lightly in between the black dots to add the highlights. Just like this. Now I'm gonna repeat the same dotting, blending and highlighting process in the right side. This middle portion of the forehead is in focus, so you can add sharp highlights here using a mono zero eraser instead of needle eraser. And by the way, if you are a beginner and have no idea how to even start a drawing on your own, I would suggest you to take my drawing course first, because it is specially designed to help beginners like you to get comfortable with the drawing process, so they can execute a drawing project of any difficulty level on their own. For my YouTube family, I put my course on sale for up to 90% off for 5 days of every month. You can check the link in the description to see if the sale is going on right now and get enrolled as soon as possible. Okay, now I'm going to use this gel roll pen and add these sharp highlights in this portion. You can also use a lighter grade pencil to lightly sketch the outlines of the highlights before filling them with gel roll pen. And you can also use a mono zero eraser or electric eraser to erase the extra shades in between the highlights before filling them with a jelly roll pen. I'm also going to lightly sketch the eyebrows to help me with the exact position of the highlights. If you make any mistakes in the highlighting process, you can easily scrape them off using a craft knife or blade. You can also add these smaller dots or highlights for the skin texture as well. Just like this. Now moving on to the eye portion and first of all I'm gonna darken the outline using a 5B pencil and then I'm gonna shade the area with a base layer using a B pencil and blend it using a dry brush. Okay now use your 5B and darken the eyebrows, add each hair individually and make sure each single hair strand is faded in the start and in the end. You can also use a mechanical pencil in between to add the smaller and lighter hair. If you don't have a mechanical pencil, you can use a sharp tip B pencil for this purpose. Now I'm going to use the 3B and add these darker shades in the shadowed portions below the eyebrows and on the eyelid as well. And don't forget to blend these layers. Now use your 5P pencil and fill these portions where the shade is darker and also add these curved hair for the eyelashes. 
Now darken the RS portion using the 8P or 9B pencil and make sure you invest some extra time on the reflection of the RS in the water as well. Just like this. Now shade and blend the remaining portion with B pencil and also add the light outlines for the lower eyelashes. And then use the 3B pencil to add these shadows below the eyelid. Now using the 8P or 9B pencil, fill the RS with darker shade and also darken the lower eyelashes. Okay, now use your mono zero razor to add the highlights on the water drippings and use your electric razor for these sharp white highlights in between. If you don't have an electric razor, you can just use your cherry roll pen for this purpose. It will work the same. You can also add these micro dots and details with the cherry roll pen and don't forget to add some highlights on the eyebrows as well. You can also use your mono zero razor to add this soft and blurry skin texture on the right corner of the eye. Just like this. Okay, now moving on to the second eye and the overall process is same. But this eye is slightly out of focus in the reference. The highlights will be softer and blurry which you can add using mono zero razor or knitted eraser. And for the starting portion of the eyebrows which is in focus, you can add these highlights using jelly roll pen. I recently started taking commission orders of custom portraits on my website and I only take one order every month. So it's the right time to pre-order a customized portrait as Christmas gift for your loved ones. Okay, now moving on to the nose portion and as always, I wanna fill it with a base layer first. And then use a 3B pencil to add these darker shades in the shadowed portions. Also make sure you darken the nostrils using a 5P pencil before blending the 3B shade. Okay, now use your 8P or 9B pencil and darken the shades in the nostrils and around the nose where required. I also used a 2H pencil to blend the roughness of the shade due to paper texture. Now use your knit eraser and dab it lightly in this middle portion of the nose to highlight it and lighten the shades. And then use your B pencil and add these dot and texture on top of the nose and blend each and every dot using the blending stump to make the skin texture. Again make a sharp tip with your knit eraser and dab it lightly in between the black dots to add these light highlights. Okay, now use your jelly roll pen and fill the highlighted portions of the nose with these small dots and texture. And then lighten some of them using a small dry brush. Just like this. Okay, now moving on to the cheek portion and first of all fill it with a B pencil and blend it using a dry brush. And then use your 3B pencil and then fill the lower shadowed portions with darker shade and also darken the outlines of the water drippings. And then blend this layer using a dry brush. Now use the 5P to darken the outlines of the water drips where required. And then use your mono zero eraser to add the highlights in the water drips. Just like this. You can also use your cherry roll pen to add the sharp white highlights and texture. Now I'm gonna repeat the same process on the remaining cheek portion except this long shadow of this main water drip. I'm gonna shade it using a 3B pencil and then darken the shades using a 5P. And for the skin texture, I'm gonna use the mono zero eraser first to add these light white dots and texture. And then I will use a B pencil to darken the portions in between these white dots. Just like this. And also add these dots in the lower cheek portion and blend them using a dry brush. Then use the jelly roll pen to add these sharp white dots and highlights for the skin texture. In order to add these light smudges and dots in between the skin texture, I used a small piece of paper and shaded it with 8P pencil. And then use the blending stump to pick up the shade and use it for the dots. And also lightly blend the extra sharp highlights using a dry brush. Okay, now for this main water drip, I'm going to darken the outline using an 8P pencil and fill the middle portion using a 5P. And then use your mono zero eraser and jelly roll pen to add the highlights in between. Okay, now moving on to the right cheek. And again, the overall process is similar to the left one, but the water dripping and cheek portion is slightly out of focus. You need to add all the main highlights using the mono zero eraser and knit eraser. You can also use the jelly roll pen when required, but don't fill all the highlights with sharp white pigment. 
Okay, now moving on to the mouth position. And first of all, I'm gonna darken the outlines of the lips using a 5P pencil so they don't fade away during the blending process. Now shade the upper lip using a P and then 3B pencil. As the right portion is out of focus, we don't need too much details in there. But for this left portion, you need to add the skin texture using the same dotting and blending technique. And then add the white dots and highlights using the jelly roll pen. Now lightly darken the upper lip using 3B and also darken the outlines for the teeth and lower lip. And then fill the lower lip portion using a P pencil. Now I'm gonna fill the lower lip using a 3B pencil and flatten the rough texture in the shade using a 2H pencil and also blend the shades using a dry brush. Now use your 5P pencil and fill the extra dark portion of the lips with darker shade, just like this. Now lighten the middle portion of the lower lip using the knit eraser and then use the mono zero eraser to add the highlights on the teeth and upper lips etc and then use the jelly roll pen to add these main white sharp highlights. Okay, now moving on to the chin portion and as always, I'm gonna fill it with the base layer first and then use a 3B to add the dark shades in the shadowed portions. Also darken these outlines for the water drip before blending the shades, just like this. You can also use the tissue paper here for blending. Now use the 5P pencil and further darken the lower portion of the chin along with these outlines for the drips. Now use the knit eraser and pick some of the extra shades from these areas in between the drip and also add the highlights inside the drips. And then add the white dots and highlights in highlighted portion. Okay, now for the neck portion, I'm gonna use the 8P pencil first and darken all these rough outlines and then use the same 8P pencil to fill all this area with the base layer. And then use the draw brush to blend this layer. I'm gonna use a 2H pencil to flatten the rough texture of this shade. Now further darken the shadowed portions with the same 8P pencil and add the highlights using a knit eraser and mono zero eraser. And also extend this main water drip and add the highlights on it using a jelly roll pen just like this and also add the highlights for these water drips below the chin portion okay now moving on to the background portion and first of all i'm gonna fill it with the base layer using a b pencil and then add the second dark layer using a 3b pencil and for this light water drip in the background you just need to darken it with the 5p pencil first and then use a mono zero eraser to add the highlights in between you can also use the electric eraser or jelly roll pen to add the sharp highlights if required. And with this last step, we are done with this hyper realistic wet face portrait. So I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this one. If you want to get the real time video of this drawing, you can visit my Patreon profile. And if you are a beginner and want to learn sketching from scratch, you can join my course on Udemy. You can also buy this original drawing through my website or order a custom portrait of your loved ones as a gift for this upcoming Christmas. All the links are in the description down below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.